Welcome back to another edition of the Texas Rangers Prospect Profile, a mini-series here within the Rangers franchise where we go over top prospects throughout the organization from AA Frisco up to AAA Nashville. Last time and back in last season, we went over catching prospect Sam Huff, who is currently with the big league club. And now we are going to be kicking off the prospect profiles here in 2021 with shortstop prospect Bryce Terang. Terang is a 21-year-old shortstop prospect, like I mentioned. He can also play a bit of second base. He bats left-handed, throws right-handed, obviously. He stands 6 feet inches tall and weighs 173 pounds. We acquired Terang in the Corey Kluber trade back at last year's trade deadline when we sent him to the Milwaukee Brewers. And we got Bryce Terang, Clayton Andrews, and Phil Bickford as the package back for Corey Kluber. Terang was drafted in the first round, 21st overall, by the Brewers in the 2018 entry draft out of Santiago High School in Corona, California. He was committed to LSU, but he decided to sign with the Brewers straight out of high school instead of going to play college ball with the LSU Tigers. Santiago High School is a high school that has had a fair amount of success in recent years producing MLB draft picks, as if you look at the baseball reference page for that high school, all of the guys who have been drafted who have gone to that high school are born in like at least the 90s, so it's all very recent players. The only one currently in the big leagues though is Chance Sisko, the Baltimore Orioles catcher. And it's also worth mentioning that Bryce is the son of former big league outfielder Brian Terang. He was a 52nd round pick in the 1989 draft by the Seattle Mariners. He played with 78 games with the Mariners from 93 to 94. Definitely not a career big leaguer or anything, but he does have some time in the bigs. And now his son was drafted way in front of him in the first round and has a chance to be a much better player than his father ever was. So now if we take a look at Terang's ratings, he is a 69 overall, a potential prospect, which is always, always good to see. He is one of the better prospects in this game. I believe he is the 44th top prospect in my franchise currently. And Bryce's best tool, without a doubt, is his speed. He has 84 speed. He is going to swipe some bags. Now, speed and base stealing is definitely not something that I usually care about, and I definitely don't go out looking for it, but I'm I mean, if we have a guy who's going to be able to do it quite well, I mean, we might as well utilize it while he's on the team. So Bryce Terang is definitely going to be an interesting guy to have when he gets on base. He's going to be just Ricky Henderson out there. Not Ricky Henderson because nobody's Ricky Henderson, but you know what I mean. We're just going to be aggressively stealing bases with him to the point where I might have to dial it back, dial it back a little bit because I'm getting too aggressive and he's getting thrown out too often. He is also going to be a very solid defender for us as well. He has the soft hands required to play shortstop. He's got a 77 fielding rating and a 67 reaction. Obviously going to get better as he improves throughout the years because he is an A potential and he's only 21 years old currently. He also has plenty enough arm to play the shortstop position, a 71 arm strength and a 74 arm accuracy. And now onto his hitting skills, which while a bit raw at the moment, are still a de defined set of skills. He's not one of these MLB The Show prospects where he just has like essentially straight across the board like mid 30s, high four or like low 40s contact and power because just people aren't really sure how to rate him. He is a guy who has a s set defined skill set and that is good contact and good plate discipline. He's never going to be a power hitter, but he should be able to work plenty of walks, and he's going to be able to drive the ball to the gaps and just slap balls down lines and get infield singles as well. He's currently sitting at a 52-44 contact rating and a 52 plate discipline, and as with the rest of his ratings, those are going to improve probably quite rapidly as well as he is an A potential prospect, as I keep mentioning. And then if he does have a good season, those will improve at an even more rapid rate. So as far as Bryce Terang's future with the organization, ideally he ends up as our long-term shortstop. He is the guy, him and Josh Young will be filling out the left side of our infield for years to come, hopefully. Uh, Elvis Andrews is on his way out. 
He is getting older. He isn't a performer with the bat anymore. He's not great in the field anymore either. And I would just like to see Terang develop a little bit more before we give him the call up to the big leagues. So I would expect to see him with the big league club in either sometime late season in 2021 or at the start of the season in 2022. And he would only be 22 years old in that season, so still a very young player. It's also worth mentioning that, like, maybe the one little bit of a downside to Turang is that he is a lefty bat, and that we currently have a lot of lefty bats in our lineup. Uh, not the biggest issue, but it is worth something that I'm going to have to take into account when doing the lineups when he's with the big league team, because we have a lot of lefty bats, and I don't like having a lineup where we have, like, six or seven straight lefties in the lineup. I like splitting those guys up at least with one righty in between there. So, taking out let's say Elvis Andrews to replace Bryce Turang, that's taking out a righty to put in the lefty, and that just makes it a bit more difficult, but we will be able to get around that, and also it's worth mentioning that probably next season maybe one or two of those lefties aren't going to be in the lineup anymore. But with that being said, that is going to wrap things up here for this edition of the Texas Rangers prospect profile of Bryce Turang, shortstop prospect down in Nashville. I've been your host, Jerseyborn, and I am saying... I'm gonna watch Days and Confuse for like the 3,000th time.